Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I have come up with one interesting coding exercise. I am going to solve lead code exercise number 181 where we need to find employees earning more than their managers. This is um, coding exercise number 5 in our channel and the complexity level is easy. I am going to solve this uh, uh, exercise using self join. Also, I am going to use PySpark and Spark SQL for solving this exercise. As I mentioned earlier, Spark SQL is following ANSI SQL standard. So, this coding approach can be used in any SQL coding interview. Let's get into problem statement. We need to find employees who are earning more than their managers. That is a problem statement. Coming to input table, we are having columns like employee ID, name, salary and manager ID. So, for example, if you look at uh, John, his salary is 6000 and his manager is 4. 4 is Lara. So, John's manager is Lara. Lara is earning 9000 where John is earning 6000 which means John is earning less, lesser than his manager. Coming to Kevin, Kevin is earning 11000 and he is reporting to manager 4 which is Lara. Lara is earning 9000 which means Kevin is earning 11000 while Lara is earning 9000 which means Kevin is earning more than his manager. So, this is my expected output. So, this is one of the simple data set. I am having only 5 records but in real time we might have more number of records as well. So, for this simple data set I have to get output Kevin because Kevin is the only person earning more than his manager in this simple input table. I hope you understood. Right. In order to get the solution for this one, this is you now one of the simple and easy uh, coding exercise. So, what we can think is, you now we have to start thinking how we can bring this output. So, for that, one simple approach that uh, our mind should start thinking is, we have to bring employee salary along with manager salary in same record. So, if uh, that is possible, then easily we can compare neck to neck employee salary, we can compare with manager salary, then easily we can find, find out who is earning more than more than manager. So, we have to imagine, we have to visualize this kind of table. We have to bring employee salary along with manager salary in the same record, then it is easily achievable. So, how we can uh, bring that output? So, for that, we have to think of self-join. So, self-join is one of the popular uh, joining concept in any traditional SQL concept. So, uh, coming to self-join, which means we have to join the same table once again with the same table. So, here we are having an input table. This is our input table. So, I am going to uh, imagine, okay, there are two uh, copies of the same input table. So, this is one version and this is another version. This is exact copy. So, this is called self-join. Now, in order to bring, you now this is my record, John, where I have to bring the manager salary also. So, where is manager salary? This is 4. So, this is the record, corresponding record. This record, I have to bring it to this uh, this place. So, in the first uh, record, I have to add the column of this salary and this uh, manager's uh, value should, uh, should come along with the employee value. So, for that, what I can do? So, I have to imagine uh, self-join where I have to take the two copies of my um, uh, table. Then, the key thing is, the very important thing is, you know, based on which key we have to join. So, on the right side, we have to think of manager ID and the left side, we have to think of uh, employee ID. So, only this will match because manager ID 4, this should match with employee ID 4, which means this record will get the uh, get the value of this, uh, this record. So, once that is done, then finally we are going to get output similar to this one. So, where we will have ID name, salary, manager ID and manager salary. So, for each and every employee, we are having employee salary along with manager salary. Once we have achieved this solution, then it's going to be very simple. Using simple filter operation, we have to uh, find greater than, where employee salary greater than manager salary, then we can uh, get the expected output. Finally, it is going to give the output of Kevin, that is expected output in this exercise. I hope you understood. It's going to be very simple. We have to remember self-join and greater than operator. Only these two uh, logic we need to think of. That's it. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is up and running. And first step is I need to create sample data frame. So here in this step, I am going to create a sample input data frame, which we have to use for this coding exercise. So let me execute. 
so that we can see the sample uh, input. So this is the sample uh, same input which I have shown in the PowerPoint. So we are having columns ID, name, salary and manager ID. So we are having five records and here only Kevin is earning more than his manager. So this should be the output. Right. This coding exercise I am going to solve using PySpark and Spark SQL. But I am going to use PySpark uh, for my first approach. Why? Because in PySpark I can uh, show step by step approach which I have shown in PowerPoint. Coming to PySpark approach, we have to use uh, self join. So first, first step I am going to use a self join. For that I am going to use the keyword join. So on both the sides I have to give a data frame. So first I am using the data frame df which we created in the above step. So here I am going to give the uh, uh, give the alias employee. So this is a left left side table. So employee is our left side table. And coming to uh, uh, next input that is again the same data uh, data frame df. Here I am going to give alias manager. So this is the right side. So based on which condition we have to join. So on my left side I have to use manager id and on my right side I have to use uh, id. So these are the joining keys and I am going to use inner join. So even though we are using self join we are uh, joining the same data set but we have to define the join type. It could be inner uh, join or left join, right join. Even left outer join will work here but I am going with inner join here. So let me execute. At the end of this execution it is going to join both the tables then in the result we can see manager salary along with employee salary in each and every record. So here uh, we don't have any matching record for Lara uh, employee ID 4 and 5 that's the reason we are not getting. Why? Because we are using inner join. In case we are using left outer join we will get same output 4 and 5 and the corresponding value on the right table will be null. But uh, this is fine. Here we are getting employee salary along with manager salary. Now even though we are getting all the columns from the second uh, data set also we have to consider only the manager salary. So this is employee salary, this is manager salary. So in the second step I am going to just filter out based on where employee, employee that is my left table, employee salary that is greater than manager salary. That is a simple uh, greater than operator I am using. So it is going to filter out the records where employee is earning more than their manager. So in this case it is going to uh, remove uh, John and Bob, sorry Bob and it is going to give only the value of uh, Kevin. Here we can see. So this is giving the entire um, uh, record of Kevin. In case we are interested only in the name of the employee then using select class I can select only the employee name. So it is going to give only Kevin. So this is how we can get the output. I hope you understood. So this is how we can solve the problem using a PySpark approach. Coming to SQL approach, first we need to convert this data frame into temp view. So for that I am using df that is our input data frame. I am converting that into views that is called employees. For that I am using create or replace temp view. So let me execute. So view is created now. Now I am going to solve this simple SQL exercise using two different approaches. But both are quite similar. There is no much difference. Even it can be considered as a single approach but I am going to give a small uh, variation in the second approach. So the, as I mentioned it is going to be simple. We are going to use uh, self join. Employee is our uh, table. So I am uh, joining once again with employees. So on the uh, left side I am calling that as E employee and on the right side I am calling that as M that is manager. So the joining key uh, left side we have to use manager ID and right side we have to use uh, ID. So e dot manager id equal to m dot id. So this is the core part which is performing the self join. Once that is done, we have to filter where e dot salary, which means employee salary greater than m dot salary, that is manager salary. So where employee is earning more than manager, it is going to filter out only those records. So let me execute. So execution is completed. So clearly it is giving the output of Kevin. Kevin's salary is 11,000 while his manager's salary is 9000. So here uh, I am uh, selecting all the columns but if you are interested only in employee name directly we can give only this name. So that is what I am going to show in the second approach. In the second approach I am uh, selecting only the uh, name of the employee. I am not interested in any other column and also I am performing self join but here I am not using where condition. Instead of where condition directly on the join condition itself I am mentioning my employee salary should be greater than 
manager salary so let me execute this step here we can see it is giving output of kevin so this is how we can solve this simple exercise using PySpark and uh, Spark SQL. As I mentioned, Spark SQL is following ANSI SQL standard. So you can use the same coding uh, pattern for any of the traditional uh, SQL coding uh, exercise or coding interview. I hope you understood how to solve this uh, coding problem. Hope you enjoyed. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment in the channel. Also subscribe the channel, don't forget to click on the bell button to get the latest updates on Spark, SQL and coding interview preparation. Thank you.